Hi there, in this video we are going to practice the th theory that we have learned in a previous video about flow diagrams. So we will move from being given inputs to working out outputs, but we will also move from being given outputs to trying to work out what is the input. So that's what's up in this video. We already know that this video is going to be important and your useful prime knowledge will be to be able to substitute. So let's get going. Suppose you are given a flow diagram with an input of 2 and in your flow diagram your first operator is to add 3. So the calculation that you must perform is to say what is 2 plus 3 and store that number somewhere. It is 5. The next operator might be to times 2. So now you take the new number that you have worked out from your first operator and you must multiply that by 2 to get an answer your output. So that is how we move from input to output. We perform the different operations and we perform later operations on the newer numbers that we've achieved. So here are some questions for you to try. Your task is to substitute 1, 5 and 9 into the flow diagram and arrive at answers. I have another question for you also. Perhaps it's time for you to pause the video and to work these questions out. If you needed an explanation, I'll go through one of the questions given. So the operator was plus 3 and put the number 1 in. 1 plus 3 is 4. Let's put the 4 into the next operator which was times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Perhaps you got one wrong in the second one. We don't know yet. Let's just check that you can do the work. We're going to put 3 into the operator minus 2 and get a 1. And 1 into the operator times 4 and get a 4. So here are all your answers. Pause the video and check yourself. I have a more complicated set of questions for you to try now. There are three operators and I want you to try a question with variables. In fact, I want you to try two. So pause the video in need and let's see what you come up with. Right, here are my answers. Hopefully you got them all correct. Pause the video and check yourself, please. Right, it's time to work backwards. Let's have a look. Suppose you have a number, I'm thinking of a number, to the number I add 3 and I get a new number. That new number I then multiply by 2 and I know the answer is 8. What was the original number that I was thinking of? Well that's quite complicated but there are ways to do this. We can work backwards. We can start with the 8 and say the question said I must times by 2 to get to 8. So to go backwards, I must do the opposite. Instead of timesing by 2 to get 8, I must say 8 divided by 2 will tell me what I had before. So 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. So before I times by 2 to get 8, I had 4. Now I added 3 to the 4. I must do the opposite. So if I added 3, I should subtract 3. So I must take my 4 and subtract 3 and that will tell me the number I started with. 4 minus 3 is 1. Well, let's check and see if this is correct. Let's take the 1 and put it into the flow diagram. 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 times 2 is 8. Great news! I wonder if you can do these questions and I've got two sets of them and they've got three operators each. Remember, you're going to start with the end numbers and you're going to do the inverse operation. So if it was a plus 3, your first thing to do will be to mm -hmm, subtract 3. Inverse operation, what is the opposite of divide 2? What is the opposite of subtract 2? Pause the video. Alright, here are the answers. Check yourself and see if you got them right. And if you did, well done. And if you did not, please get help from a tutor soon.